Hey, Vinyl Cats here. Welcome to another exciting edition of Stacked 45s. I've lined up about eight singles on this old BSR UA8 Monarch turntable, uh, which was kind of a very popular turntable in the UK uh, in the late 50s and early 1960s. It's part of this Sobel radiogram I've got, uh, which dates from 1957. So we've stacked them up, unrehearsed. They may all drop down at once. Some may not play. It could all be terribly disastrous. But here we go. Kicking off with record number one, which is from the Rolling Stones. I, of course, have to talk over the record because don't want any copyright strikes. But here we are. The first record in the stack today, the Rolling Stones. And it's all over now. And of course, it's not all over now. This is Vinyl Cats on the YouTube channel with the regular feature, Stacked 45s. And we're going to see if for the first time in this series I can get all the records to drop down only one at a time and not all get uh, going all slippy and skatey as sometimes happens on these wonderful old auto changes. Okay, on to the next one we got next what's going to drop down one's drop down yes it's on the parlophone label it's not the beatles but it is slipping i think it started to slip then <laughs> yes it's adam faith and uh oh is it gonna play okay it might play all right now it's called what do you want it's a hit from uh, about 1963 i think it was skating a bit but i think we've got away with it okay but because that one skated the rest that fall down might skate on top of it. This is nail-biting stuff right here on Vinyl Cats and Stack 45s. So let's jump to the next single in the series. One drop down. Yes. And it doesn't seem to be skating. It's on the orange CBS label. And it comes from Bob Dylan. And it's positively 4th Street. And guess what? It's not slipping. Oh, my heart was in my mouth then. Every Stack 45 video... I have taken, I've had slipping vinyl. As you know and how I've explained before, in the old days records used to have a little ridge just outside of the label in the middle and as the records were stacked on an auto changer they would sort of lock into each other so they wouldn't skate around all over the place. That didn't always work terribly well as we have seen. Uh, on this Stack 45 series. Anyway, from Bob Dylan to single number four in the stack on this old BSR Monarch UA8 turntable. It's from 1968 and it's by the Paul Morier Orchestra. Big UK hit this one. It was called Love is Blue. And it's playing perfectly, which is very, very good. I'd love to play all of these records in full, but uh, as I keep saying, YouTube copyright stuff don't tend to like it too much so this is just for demonstration purposes okay that these decks still do work and if you've got loads of old records you still actually can make what is equivalent now i guess of a spotify playlist but with only 10 songs in it and if you want to you could either be brave and mix them up by changing the order of the records in the stack wow you could do this in 1957 and make a playlist yes you certainly could and not just with singles you could also do this with vinyl albums, but uh, we could. Oh, did we get two drop down then? No, 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 that was five. It's on the Duran label, and it's uh, the band called the Moody Blues, Voices in the Sky, which was taken from the album In Search of the Lost Chord, which is excellent. On Vinyl Cats, In Search of the Lost Chord is one of my favourite albums by the Moody Blues. I have about three copies of it. It is excellent. I must feature that as a record of the week at some time soon. Okay, there are three. Records left in the stack. This is like the National Lottery results. On the edge of your seats, everybody. Are you ready for the next one in the stack? Let's go for it. And one drop down. Wow. We could get to the end of this video and only have one drop down at a time. Now, that sounds pretty awful, but this is how this single actually starts. It's uh, The Monkeys, uh, dating from about 1967, I think. It's called Alternate Title. And uh, this is number six record in the stack. Yep, there's two more to go. You can see Lee Marvin there with Wandering Star, which is the last record on the stack. 
What's the next one? Prizes if you can guess what the next record is in the stack. Ah, how is this going to work? Don't be ridiculous. Let's get on with it. That's record number six. We'll go to record number seven in the stack. Come on. Yes. And one, but this is actually cheating. It's not from the 60s. It's from uh, the 1970. And it's Edison Lighthouse. Love grows where my rosemary grows. Keep talking over the music so we don't get copyright notices. This is Vinyl Cats stacked 45s featuring a stack of eight singles from the 1960s and one from the 70s on an old BSR Monarch UA8 turntable, which is part of this lovely old Sobel radiogram, which I restored about uh, ten years ago. We've one record left in the stack now. One record for this episode of Stack 45s. Uh, not half pop pickers. <laughs> Let's go to the last one. And only one could drop down then. Is it going to play or is it going to slip? Oh, is it going to play or is it going to slip? Come on. Wow, it's actually playing. I don't believe it. The first Stack 45s, because I wanted to do these completely unrehearsed. And if problems happened, that they did happen live in the video. And I didn't post-produce, post-production on them, you know. I just left them as they are. Because that's what I want it to be. Because, again, as I've said before... When you did this back in the 50s and 60s, you never knew which of these singles was going to slip, whether more than one would drop down at once, etc. And as I said, you can actually play vinyl albums on here. You used to be able to stack up about four albums and then get quite an extensive playlist because you get four complete sides of albums, uh, one after the other. So you could actually make a playlist on one of these, assuming 20 minutes of side, for you could get about 80 minutes of music. Uh, on one of these without having to get out of your armchair. Wasn't that absolutely amazing? On a stacked 33 and a third feature coming a bit later, we'll see if that worked. I don't remember stacking 33s in more than about three in the past, so we're going to be brave. Maybe we'll go for five. We'll see what happens. Anyway, watch out for the next episode of Stacked 45. The next thrilling episode right here on Vinyl Cats.